Right now, I have uh, uh, Father Stephanus Dujukian. Perfect. I got it right. Yes. Good. And, um, and I know how to spell it. That's the incredible <laughs> thing. <laughs> I still have problems. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Armenian Festival. He's been on a few years, or I think a number of years, actually. We've been yes. helping them promote their wonderful Armenian Festival. It's located at 100 uh, Troy Schenectady Road, and um, we've got a photo of the place, and I understand you've got a new pavilion. Yes. What's going on? Well, what do you got going on? First, let me on? say it's great to see you yeah, again, it's good Anne. To see you too. I, I love coming here, and you do such a great job. Thank you. Promoting such a diverse um, stuff throughout our capital district of peoples and interest. Yeah. So anyway, we have our big festival coming up. Uh, it seems to be getting bigger and bigger every year. June 6th and 7th uh, in Watervliet at our, on the church grounds. And um, we have a new pavilion uh, that uh, some of it was donated and the rest we fundraised uh, through our community. And it's almost built. It's going to hold about 250 people. Uh, it's, it's, it's covered, huge, obviously. It's covered, it's beautiful. So rain so, or shine, you're, you're rain there. Rain or shine, right. we have, we'll have tents too. Yeah. We have an Armenian band that comes for two days from the Boston area. You'll hear real authentic Armenian music. They'll be dance, dancing. Dance. There'll be dance groups. Um, you know, we have cooking lessons and we, we have women who will, and men who will teach how to cook some of the You're delicacies. Doing shish kebabs. We're doing shish kebabs. We're doing chicken, lamb. And what's this? Uh, what's this uh, uh, pizza? Armenian pizza. That's the lahmacun, <laughs> Armenian pizza. It's, it is the best. You put a little. You brought it last year. It was uh, so good. You put a little lettuce on there, a little tomato. You fold it up. It's there's really nothing like it yeah, in the world. It's really good. Um, and Armenian food is similar to the Greek. It's similar, yeah, you know, not exactly the same. You use baklava, we, I know you have we baklava. Have, yeah, we have baklava, <laughs> yes. And, uh, Maybe that's where it ends. But. Right. Well, we, you know, we, we both use lambs. Yeah, you know, we I do love more lamb. of the grilling of yeah. the kebab. They do more of the roasting of the lamb. But okay. either way, it's, it's delicious. And uh, so, um, you know, we're, it's free admission. There's no charge to come. There will be vendors. There will be a gift shop. It's a party. Um, it really is. In two he, days, two days. Two days. Starting at 12 noon. to 8 on Saturday, 12 to 5 on Sunday. And what we find is that when people come, they don't want to leave. And you so do take home, too, if you want to. Absolutely. So if you want to take a dinner home, suppose you t try this and this, and you say, I'm right. too full, take a meal home with you. Yeah, another thing we find is that people will come around 12 or 1 o'clock. And then three or four hours later, they're they hungry. Dinner. They, they, they have dinner. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> so good to me. So we're happy to serve everyone. Uh, we, yeah. we also want to touch upon a very, um, uh, it's a, a commemorative uh, issue. Yes. Uh, and it has to do with the genocide of the Armenians, which occurred 100 years ago in uh, 1915. And uh, Father uh, went down to Washington, is that correct? Yes. Can you tell us about yeah. your experience? It, it, was, it was our national commemoration. So we had people, Armenians and clergy from all over the country, California, the West, the East, North and South. And uh, it highlighted the, um, n not only uh, their surviving of this genocide uh, and honoring now the new saints of the genocide, the martyrs are now, they've been sanctified. Um, as of April 23rd. Uh, so we all came together with the leaders of our church, the two Catholicoses, they're like the popes, and um, you know, we came together and, and we, uh, we commemorated this in a very special way, in a way that you know, we now look to the next hundred years with hope and with promise. No longer uh, the real sad mourning um, effect that the genocide did have, and still does. You know, you can't just switch that overnight. No, right. But um, there's more and more recognition, especially Pope Francis's comments and his specifically saying that the Armenian genocide of April. They recognized he it. He recognized it as well, a genocide. Now, maybe we should probably uh, do a, a kind of a rollback of history here, and we know that the Ottoman Empire was yes, the, was. Uh, Came. It was the Ottoman Empire and, you know, the Ottoman Turks, but, you know, there were, you know, we were what living... Promote, what, what prompted that? Was it land acquisition? What, what was it religion? What was it? it? It was a multifaceted reason why this genocide took place. It was religion, it was animosity, jealousy, 
Um, it was the feeling of being threatened, the Turks, uh, because we lived in that Ottoman Empire side by side with Turkish people for centuries. Mm -hmm. Was it Along sort of like with, the Palestinian and the Israelis? Yeah, very that similar, yeah. right. And, um, you know, just something just switched like a light, like a light All you bulb. need is a and few was, people at the top that, that can create a hate-filled you know, even, environment. Even Hitler said, you know, who, after all, who remembers the annihilation of the Armenians? That genocide was a template. Raphael Lemkin created that term based, the term genocide mm -hmm. based on 1915. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we, we want recognition of that. More and more countries, Germany just recognized the genocide. Um, you know, there's like 25 or 26 nations. Uh, 43 states have recognized the genocide. And it's interesting that when you look at the Holocaust, there are still deniers. Right. So you've got, I mean, you've got people who will not recognize sure. that something happened, even with, in the face of all the evidence that's oh. placed before them. And, and that's what it with is. With survivors there's and so everything. So much. Yeah. yeah. I hope you can come this year. I We'd hope love so to too. have you. I want to and, be and, there. And, uh, you know, we have delicious food, it's free, admission is free. And uh, we Parking welcome is every free. parking is free. free. It's open to all, and everyone's going to enjoy the Armenian experience. And You're, we're going to tell them one more time where it is. It's going to be St. Peter Armenian Church, 100 Troy Schenectady Road, Water Valit. It's up on the hill, and we'll make you Armenian for the weekend. For the way. Hey, for the weekend. That's a, right? that's a, <laughs> I mean, if you watch this show, you know that I celebrate the different cultures, uh, whether it be the Irish, the Italian, the Poles, the Armenians, I mean, you, it, you name job. it, you know, because I feel that it's so important for, I, I don't want to say world peace because I don't want to get that big. Right. It makes the world go round. We need diversity. It, and the more you learn about people and cultures, whether it's the Chinese, the Taiwanese, it makes them more of like, like you. Sure. Because we all have so much we commonality. We find so many more similarities that exactly. way. Exactly. And let's look for the similarities and not the differences. There's so many good people just because they're not like you. Hey. That's right. There you go. Let's do a fist pump. Thanks, Ann. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Thank you for being Thanks, here. And Anne. I will be there and say hi to your awesome. lovely wife, I too, will. as Thank well. Thank you.